Hi guys, Leslie with Majestic Party Rental here with you guys. I'm gonna give you a quick teaser on how to do a balloon bouquet. I already have a sample here, so if you like it, you wanna make sure to sign up for our classes. Um, this will be shown in our balloon class. If you're doing our online balloon class, this will be something that I will be showing you on top of the balloon garland. So if you haven't signed up, go sign up now. All right, so what I'm using is I'm using two balloons just to make one flower. This is gonna be my stem. This will be my flower part. And it is a 160. I am using Qualitex brand for this. I like to use my hand pump guys, as everyone at home doesn't own pumps. So the hand pump comes in handy. And wouldn't this be beautiful for Mother's Day, Valentine's Day? So here, as you can see, I, like to mold it a little bit just to try to get some of the shape together. I'm going to tie both ends together. Again, molding. I'm going to split this in half and then I'm going to start twisting the center on the top. You want to make sure not to tangle the bottom as you're twisting. Okay, again, I like to mold. We're gonna do an N shape here. See, N shape, N shape. This is how we're gonna find the half of the half, okay? You'll end up with something that looks like this. We're gonna go here. Notice, we're gonna shove this in here. Guys, Usually these tend to pop since you're kind of putting pressure, especially if you have nails. So be careful. So we are shoving this in. Shoving in. Make sure you shove everything in. And as you can see, you should have a little center here. Now we're going to shove this little guy in here. Again, a lot of times these do tend to pop, guys. It's not because you're doing it wrong. It's just me with nails and kind of force something into a small little hole. It gets pretty hard. So again, I'm shoving. And as you can see, I'm putting this in here. And again, we are going to start shaping all this. Make sure you get all of your ends inside. You should have your balloon end in here. get that little filler out of there. So we're gonna be using that. So make sure you have all your ends together and it should look like this. Okay, we have our end. Now we're gonna do our stem. And again, shape. I like to get some of the air out just to make it a little bit easier for me to work with. Oops, too much, so let's put some more in there. So let's let some out and shape. And again, guys, this is just a teaser. If you want to see the rest of it, sign up for our class this Sunday. It is an online class. Um, I'm throwing this in. So now we're going to tie the end to the end. It should look like this. All right, so now it should look like this all tied up together. Now we're going to get some leaves. I like to use about this much to get the leaves going. You want to get in there and twist it and I like to kind of go off of the last leaf so I kind of measure it for that one so I'm going to twist here and we're going to twist together I'm going to do one more again I like to play with the last leaf to get the measurement I'm going to twist here I'm going to get it in there and I am going to twist And 
there is your flower guys so if you want to learn how to do the whole bouquet make sure you sign up for our class this sunday online it's a 50 dollars class make sure you sign up thank you guys have a good one